All right, welcome back. As we mentioned earlier, um, not only are we seeing uh, tornado damage in Moss Point, they're seeing a lot of damage in Jasper County. One person killed overnight, 12 injured. Yeah, and uh, we're going to touch base right now with uh, Mallory White from Mississippi Emergency Management Agency, who was actually on the ground up there, and that's in kind of the northwest corner of the Pine Belt, just north of a Laurel. And we'll talk about Jasper County in just a minute, Mallory. But you've been following what's been happening down here in Jackson County over in Moss Point. What have you heard? So what we've been told uh, so far from officials on the ground is that there are eight people that are actually trapped inside of that bank, uh, the M&M Bank. Um, we have been told that they are safe. Now, what exactly safe means right now, I'm working to get the clarity, to get some clarity on that. Does that mean they're uninjured or does that mean that they've already been rescued by the time I got this information? So, but we do know eight people um, were trapped inside of that bank. Um, but I will say the coast has some of the best search and rescue assets. So I know these men and women are gonna be taken care of. So that's the main thing you've heard of. You haven't heard about any other major damage. I mean, there is major damage as we're seeing in our video right now in pictures, but you haven't heard about anything else specifically. Not yet. No specifics yet from there. I, I think the major focus right now is life safety and helping people um, like them that are trapped inside of the bank, making sure that folks are taken care of and are accounted for. And then we'll get into the damage assessments either later to, uh, this afternoon or probably starting those in the morning as well. And Mallory, 2023 so far has been quite a year when it comes to tornadoes. Of course, uh, the poor folks up in Rolling Fork. But just on Sunday, uh, Jasper County, again, that's just kind of northwest of the Laurel area. I believe at one point, maybe they've restored some power. 49,000 people were without power. There's one fatality up there. What can you tell us about how folks are doing in that part of the state? Yeah, so we went up there this uh, this morning to take a look at the damage and the um, only requests that they've had right now are for some tarps and we were able to provide that. We have a lot of volunteers um, that are giving water to them at this point. There is an American Red Cross shelter that is open. Um, a lot of the damage that we're seeing, as you can imagine, lots of trees down, lots of debris, but we did see a lot of homes destroyed and that destroyed actually means they're, they're completely gone. And so we did see that and those types of homes, those destroyed homes will play a key role in assessing that damage and to see if uh, the state or the feds need to be called in to assist uh, these residents. And unfortunately, your group will likely be down here tomorrow doing the same thing. Yes, and we have a wonderful trained area coordinators who are also drone pilots, and so they will be assisting in this damage assessment process. Um, that These drones help us get uh, a wider view of just how widespread this damage is, and, and we take all of that information and we're gonna roll it up. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though, is that each of these storms that we've seen this week, they're all their own separate event. Uh, we are not able to put them all together and ask for assistance for the state. So they have to be their own event. Um, but I have to give a big shout out to our local emergency managers. We train for this, we prep for this, and the only thing that they've asked is so far for some tarps, and that means that these locals are handling it. It starts local and it ends local. And so the people in Mississippi should rest assured that they have some wonderful emergency management crews that work for them. All right, Mallory, thank you so much for joining us uh, from MEMA today. I know you're very busy and we'll probably be in touch with you again um, later today or tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. And Amima always reminds people uh, when you are a victim of a storm to file an insurance claim, make sure you start working on that. Take photos of the damage, which is always a good idea. And then there's a self report uh, online tool with MEMA where you can also let the Mississippi Management Emergency uh, Emergency Management Agency uh, know about your situation. Right, and of course, as we've been telling everyone, we're, we're certainly learning about a lot of damage over in the Moss Point area, and we're hoping that everyone is safe. That is our first concern right now. And we'll be back with the latest after this.